So I just saw that movie, The Meg, and I think they should rename it Stupid Jaws. And first of all, when do they start serving regular food at the movie theater? It used to be hot dogs, pretzels. Now they have actual meals. Seriously? Who's like, give me one adult for the Meg, and how's the lobster bisque? Who is eating a full meal in the movie theater? The Meg's eating people. They're like, this is great. Can I get some more great poupon? Where's the waiter? You shut the fuck up. This cost me $87, bitch. Whenever you show a movie now, before the previews, they have like two college students. They're like, hi, we're Todd and Tyler, and we go to the University of Florida, and we won AMC's best bullshit short student feature. And then they show it. It's like five seconds. It's like, do you want some popcorn? No, I'm okay. They're like, thank you for watching. I'm like, this won an award? This movie makes a Snapchat of my asshole look like Citizen Kane. Well, The Meg begins when Rain Wilson, who plays a wacky billionaire, arrives at this undersea research lab that he's been funding. And he's like, so what have you guys been doing with all my money? First of all, if you're giving them billions of dollars, you don't know what they're doing. What if you arrived and they're just doing cocaine and there's a bunch of hookers? I thought you were looking for undersea life. Yeah, I found some. I was smoking crack last night and saw the Loch Ness Monster. He's a nice guy. We danced until the wee hours of the morning. So the scientists find, like, the deepest level of the ocean, and it's covered in this, like, misty thermal layer of fog. I had ADD. I, I didn't pay attention to a lot of the facts. It's covered in some foggy shit, and they're like, we believe there's something under there. So they take the submarine under there, and they find this prehistoric shark called the Megalodon. He crashes into the sub, and now they're stuck. And first of all, the Megalodon's been down there for two zillion years and can't swim up through the layer, but that submarine has no problem penetrating it. I'm already calling bullshit. There's more holes in this plot than there are in my underwear, and I have 17 holes in my ass alone. And that's not including my asshole. So anyway, they're like, we gotta rescue these submarine people. So, Jason Statham, like years back, had encountered the Megalodon, and everyone thought he was crazy. So, for the last five years, supposedly, he's been just drinking on the beach. Even though, if he's been drinking on the beach and wasting away for five years, how come when he takes his shirt off, he looks like he's been eating carrots and working out with a personal trainer from Rambo for fucking five years straight? If you're going to have somebody washed up and fucking fat and shit on the beach, do it. Don't have them have a British accent, perfect white teeth, and washboard fucking abs. Jason Statham agrees to go down the sub. And first of all, Jason Statham, can you at least try to look scared at one part of this movie? It's like, you don't know what you're going to find down there. He's like, well, that's part of the fun, matey. And then, like, some woman comes out and just starts blowing. He rescues the crew. They see the Megalodon. And now they've got to stop it. And Ruby Rose is a scientist, and she knows everything there is to know about this prehistoric fucking monster that no one thought existed. How the fuck does she know all this shit? Like, what is that thing? She's like, it's a megalodon. Born June 1st, 17 zillion BC. His name is Herman. His parents were Ruth and Steve. He enjoys eating people and swimming around in subterranean levels, and he also likes the Netflix show Blue Bloods. We're also friends on Yik Yak. You know the characters are bad when you're rooting for the goddamn villain and the villain's a fucking giant fish. So the Meg gets loose and then Jason stakes them. Nothing phases him. Jason, you're gonna have to jump on the Meg's face and stab him in the eye. All right, matey. Does anyone want to suck my dick while I'm on the shark's face? Everyone's like, I do, I do. So then Rain Wilson lies and says that uh, these like army teams are going to come kill the shark. But instead, he just throws explosives on it while no one's around in this helicopter. And they think it's dead. And then they jump on top of it to make sure it's dead. First of all, if something's trying to kill you and you think it's dead, just run away. That's like in Friday the 13th when they throw a brick at Jason's head. He passes out and they walk up. They're like, Jason? Jason, are you awake? Jason. Clear. Jason. Jason, wake up. Oh, my God, he's up. Oh, my God, get the fuck out of here. No, just leave. 
So anyway, the end scene, the shark swims to like this resort town where everyone's on inner tubes. It's a scene straight out of Jaws. There's even like a little fat kid who asks his mom if he can go play. And she's wearing a hat, just like the lady in Jaws 1, whose kid gets eaten by fucking Jaws. And then one part, Ruby Rose designs this like plastic tube. And uh, she wants Jason Statham to get in it and put a tracker on the Meg. He's like, is that tube safe? She's like, nothing can destroy that tube. Well, you don't even know what the Meg is. This thing's lived for two billion years. It can't destroy your precious fucking tube. Did you do Meg tests just in case this dinosaur was still alive? And first of all, the Meg's 20 times bigger than that fucking thing. You don't think it can swallow it? And guess what he does? He fucking swallows it. So the end scene... <laughs> The end scene, Jason Statham kills the bag, and then him and the leading lady hook up, and all is well. I give this movie one fucking star. If you want to see a good shark movie, watch Jaws 1, Jaws 2. I even like Jaws 3. Skip Jaws 4. One star for the Meg, two stars for the Shrimp Scampi. It was actually quite good.